everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have an Aldi food haul for you guys. This is food for a family of kind of four. <laughs> I eat enough anyway for Emmett because breastfeeding makes me so hungry. But I have gathered all of my Aldi shopping bits. I put it into a really nice pile. So I definitely deserve a thumbs up for that. So let's get on and I will show you everything we have for a family of four. This is an overhaul of everything that we have. Um, just really quickly, this is not sort of a typical shop for us. Every week we do something different, so we need to get, say, extra store things for the cupboard or extra bits for the pantry. Um, and yeah, we kind of like, you know, we need to get nappies, things like that. So it is a bit more of an expensive shop for us. It was about 87 euro, uh, which isn't terribly bad, especially because we got nappies. And some weeks it could be less, some weeks it could be more. It just kind of is, it is what it is. Let's get up. Okay, so we will start with the veg. I got a big pack of roosters. I just think they are better value when you get a big pack of them. I have some parsnips, some carrots, three packs of peppers, a soup mix because it was there and it was pretty good value. I think it was 150. Mushrooms, spinach, uh, garlic, grapes, God, on my brain, <laughs> broccoli, uh, tomatoes, two packs of lettuce because we go through quite a lot of that. Moving on then to like more of our fridgy bits. I picked up some red cheddar and mozzarella. John likes those in his sandwiches. I got some cheese triangles. I'm trying to up with different things. Some rashers, butter, feta, turkey for John's sandwiches, goat cheese, two packs of sausages because one I'll put into the freezer. Um, I don't know if I said that, butter. <laughs> They're like little snacks for Caleb, some uh, Greek yogurt, <laughs> orange juice, milk, apple juices for Caleb, some diced chicken, because I absolutely hate dicing it and I don't for John anyway. Freezery bits, we didn't need much this week, we just needed some uh, southern fried chicken. I kind of rotate between these and like chicken kiels for John just to have them in the freezer. Corn for myself because we're doing fake shepherd's or cottage pie, but we call it shepherd's pie. And some like dippers, these are kind of like the more whole breast ones. Nappies for Caleb because we get Caleb's nappies and wipes and nappy sacks and Aldi, but I do get the pampers and water wipes for Emmett because he's still really small. Um, our house goes gaga for this. This is the apple and black currant, like squash. We love that. Weetabix or fake Weetabix, a breakfast bar. These are the Benefit chocolate and fudge. They're delicious. Some plain breakfast bars, kitchen roll, tin foil, wipes. I use these really in the bathroom. Prawn crackers because we are having thigh green curry today. Uh, penny pasta, because you can never have too much penny pasta. Bread for like toast. Uh, do pats for Caleb because he absolutely blooming loves them. Then I suppose onto our not so great stuff. Seashells for mommy because I absolutely love these. Some biscuits, some popcorn. These mini eggs, and we actually got two packs of them. So I am making like a brownie and I really need these. So they are for my brownies and John wanted a pack and I got some Kinder. Chocolate bars for Caleb, some whisper bars just to have into the fridge, and wraps for Daddy. So that is everything we got this week. It came up to just under 82 euro. I will show you what I'm going to be doing with all of that, but I am using a lot of kind of sauce packets, things like that, that I already have. I'm really trying to use what I have in my cupboard because I got loads and loads when I was still pregnant um, just to use up. So we're using those up. Like I said, we don't obviously get like a big packet of potatoes every week and I don't even get the big packet of carrots they will last me two weeks because my fridge is pretty cold and um, so yeah they are just they will do us next week will probably be like a smaller shop and that's kind of how we do it now I will show you what we are using all that food for uh, I will do it so on the midst of all of this <laughs> chaos um, these are the two things that I have so this is my shopping list these did go on um, like something that goes on the fridge but they um, fell off the back so this is our shopping list just thought I'd show you that but this is the meals for the week so I just write what week we are and then we kind of know so 
Monday, we're having a Thai green curry. That's a vegetarian. Caleb won't eat that, so he will have nuggets and red pepper. On Tuesday, we're doing a chicken casserole for the boys, and I'm having a feta pasta. The same on Wednesday, because I make enough for two batches. Then we're having a fake sherbet pie or cottage pie. I would do that with the corn, so it's vegetarian. On Friday, we're having goat cheese salad and quinoa. And then John, I have a chicken Kiev inside the thingamajig. And then Saturday, we're having um, roast potato, carrots. I have a veggie burger and John has a Kiev. Actually, he doesn't. He's got southern fried chicken this week. And then baked potato, sweet corn. And I thought whatever I kind of have at the end, I would throw that in. And uh, they did not have veggie burgers so i really don't want to have a sunday but today is so that's for next week so i will worry about that we will obviously need to do a top-up shop we often need to get more bread and more milk and um yeah just kind of those bits so that is everything i got in aldi this week again it cost us just under 82 euro 81.66 and um yeah if you like this don't forget to give it a big thumbs up especially for my presentation now Emily is crying, I'm going to have to go. I will see you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.